Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed with another Smart Ed TV top tip. We're in Smart Notebook 11, and one of the new features in the software is this puzzle piece looking side tab over here. It's called the Add ons side tab, and inside of it is just one application for now. More will come later, but let's talk about that one application. It's called the Activity Builder. Here we are in Notebook Software, and we have a boy on the left side of the screen. On the right, we have some foods. We need to create a lesson that shows which foods are healthy and which ones aren't. First, I'm going to uncheck the Auto Hide feature for the side tabs. This will make it easier for me to create my activity. Now, I'll select the boy in the work area, and then select the Add-ons side tab, and then select the Activity Builder. There is only one option available when I am getting started with creating my activity, so I'll go ahead and select Edit. Now I need to tell the Activity Builder which objects to accept and which ones to reject. We want to accept the apple, so I will select and drag it to the top box of the Side Tab menu. There it is. The banana goes here as well. The piece of cake and the candy go in the rejected area, but rather than dragging each, I'll just select this button called Add All Remaining. There are other options you can change by selecting the Settings button at the top of the side menu. You can select the type of animation when an object is accepted or rejected and choose to play a sound if one is linked to the object. I'll choose the Done button. Now, in order to get started on the activity, I'll recheck the Auto Hide feature for the side tabs and select In My Work Area. We're ready to test our activity. I'll select and drag the apple over to the boy, and we see that it disappears. If I try to give him candy, it bounces back. Let's review. Once I have my objects in the notebook work area and the side tab auto hide feature unchecked, I'll select an object in the work area. Now I'll select the add-ons side tab, then I'll select the activity builder. Next I'll select edit. I need to decide which items to accept, so I'll drag them to the Accept box. Now I'll choose which objects to reject, so I'll either drag them or select the Add All Remaining button. If I want to make any changes to the settings, I will choose that button and make those selections. When I'm finished, I'll select Done. If you want to learn more about using Smart Notebook software and our other educational technology products, Smart Ed Services offers a wide variety of professional development programs to suit your needs. Let us help you get the most out of the technology you use in your classroom. The Activity Builder is a great way to get your students interacting with your smart board and to get them some instant feedback to the answers that they give. That's it for this top tip. I'm Smart Ed and we will see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.